In today's video, we are talking about the top five things that we think you should need for your RV or travel trailer or fifth wheel. So stay tuned. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, thanks for joining us. If you don't know, my name is Daniel. I'm Jennifer. And as you guessed it, we're Trailers to Journey. We're gonna talk about RV tips and tricks, and we also do some camping adventure videos. We're talking about the top five things that you see here and a few more. So let's jump right in. So first up, we are talking about tire chocks and these are the industrial like heavy duty rubber tire chocks and these are essential to have it basically means that your rig is not going to roll around anywhere when you put these underneath the tires and it helps so once you get your rig in place where you want it these help secure your trailer so it doesn't move. Another thing are these funky looking things. These are called X, X trucks. And basically if you have two wheels, if you're a double wheel, fifth wheel or travel trailer, uh, these are perfect to have because you just put these right in between the two tires. They expand and it makes it so the tires can't roll back and forth if you don't have these. So the other thing that I want to talk about is having a level. Making sure that if you don't have any other type of app or anything installed, this is essential so that way your travel trailer more or less is what you'll use this on is level so you put this up I usually put it up right up against where the door is and the level there's one up top and one on bottom and it'll you get that little bubble level right in between the two lines there and that's gonna have the best um, way to level your rig So it's important to have hoses, obviously, for your black tank, your gray tank, your fresh water. And also this guy, we call it the, uh, the- Stinky Slinky. Stinky Slinky. The Stinky Slinky, that's right. So this is obviously what you use to dump when you're done camping. And it, this is a Rhino. We really like this one. And as you can tell, it's black. So it's really hard to see if everything is clear. Mm -hmm. So that's where this guy comes in. You just connect it to the end here and then you connect it to the, um, the little area that you're actually dumping at. So that way, as it's flowing through, you can tell once it's clear water and then that way you know that your black tank is completely free and clear of all of that nasty stuff. Yep. Um, and, and then- Another benefit to the Rhino hoses is, if you wanna hold on to that, well, it extends out it extends super really really long, far and then you can just quickly compact it back up compact it so these are great for Without pinching yourself <laughs> these are great for having um a storage keep the storage solution down and you can put it oh, in a bin Some, some campers, travel trailers, um, actually have a space at the bumper. <laughs> really, Daniel? Oh, goodness. I can't take you anywhere. Um, some travel trailers and campers actually have a space in the bumper at the back of the trailer where you can open one side and just put your slinky right in there. And that way you can just keep it in there and that way it frees up space in your storage or in the if you have a bin for all of your hoses and things like that. So you'll obviously want to have your fresh water hose, but then you'll want to have a different hose for when you're flushing out your gray tank. So that way you're not cross, I guess, cross contaminating yep. dirty water with your water hose that you have fresh water in that runs through to your sink, to your kitchen sink. 
Yep. And then we also recommend gloves. We have these gloves. Um, they're easily washable. You can wash them in the sink. Um, if you're full time and you're traveling from one place to the next, you can just wash these um, in your sink or whatever when you get to your next destination. Some people prefer disposable gloves just so that they can take them off and throw them away when they're done. But for us, for us, it's not a big deal. We just have a bag that we put these in and we obviously put them in a new bag each time they're dirty after we've used them. And then we just wash them out um, when we get to our next spots. All right, Daniel, so what's next on the list? So next we are gonna be talking about this guy. This is not really a necessity, but it is a very good tool to have. It is a torque wrench. It's in case you need to replace or change out your tire on your rig or even your truck. It's gonna help you get those lug nuts off. It's gonna allow you to set the correct torque on those lug nuts so that way you're not over tightening and causing potential damage or anything like that. So you can pick it up, again, pick this up at any hardware store, um, AutoZone or Checkers or anything like that. But it is definitely a must have for your arsenal of tools. Okay, so next on our list is walkie talkies. We think these are really important because it's just more convenient when you're at your campground or at your next destination and you're trying to back up the trailer. So instead of being on your phone and being distracted in that way, I feel like these are a lot less distracting and it's just easier for you guys to communicate when one of you is out of the truck trying to guide and back the other person in. And also um, for people that travel separate, some people have, um, a rig that they tow with their truck and then their significant other has either a Jeep or a separate car that they just follow in. And I think it's important to have these for that too because you can constantly communicate on the road, again, without having to use your phone and being distracted in that way. And then also if you, um, maybe if one of you gets ahead of the other one a little bit and you can't see each other, you can still use these and um, walkie the other person that you're following to find out where they're at make sure that you guys are still close enough that you can catch back up so or if you're in a, or if you're in a caravan mm -hmm. you can always um give one to the person the that, person that the mm -hmm. other people that you're caravanning with um especially in those places that you're not going to have cell service right walkie talkies are going to come in very useful to have so that way you don't have to rely on having cell service. Or having to pull off on the side of the road and wait for the person that's caravanning with you because you're not sure how far back they are. And then they could actually be ahead of you and you think they might be behind you and then you pull over and you waste that time. So walkie talkies are, I think really important and just an easier way to stay in communication with either the person that you're traveling with or like Daniel said, people that are caravanning with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we hope that you got value out of this. Uh, if we missed something or if you wanted to see something or if we didn't touch on something, make sure that you give a comment down below and also make sure that you give us a great big thumbs up because it helps us out, helps the channel. It helps push the video out to more people. And if you really like the content that you're hearing from our videos, make sure that you subscribe and that you also hit the bell notification because it will notify you when we re each time we release a new video. So with that, guys, always remember to cherish the journey and cherish the moments that you're in. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.